We all have one of these in the garden, which is a hose nozzle with a million and one different attachments that do God knows what. Well, we do know what. In this video, we're gonna show you exactly how we use all of these common attachments in the garden. So cultivate that like button for epic irrigation and let's get into the video. First up, shower. Starting off with the most basic and by far the one used the most here at Epic Gardening, the shower attachment. This one is going to be great for basically turning this column of water in the hose into a nice diffuse and gentle spray, which means it's really good when you come in and water right at the base of a plant. This is a bed full of honey melon and zinnia, actually quite a beautiful bed. But what I like to do is come in and just water right at the base of those vines with a nice gentle spray. Now, you can also water over the top if you want to. In this case, I don't think it's a great use of that water. It's just gonna get these leaves all wet, but that's the benefit of shower is if you do wanna water over the top, it's a nice gentle spray that's not gonna damage the plants. Next up, flat. Flat is one that is less commonly used, but we've still found a couple good use cases for it. It basically, diverts the water to come out in a sheet or a flat cone. And the way I personally love to use it is mostly in my seed starting area. So for example, I have this 1020 tray here. It's a little bit dirty, a little bit grimy, and flat will take care of it in one fell swoop. So the whole thing is now nice and clean. I can hit the other side really quickly and I'm good to go. So cleaning off trays. Also, when you get into some of these little angled style seed starting trays, these ones, you can give it a quick flat and it tends to get a lot of the grime off in an easier way. Now, the other use case for flat that I really like is if you have nice big leaves that might be infested, let's say a broccoli leaf or a cabbage leaf, you can peel up the underside of the leaf, come in with a flat spray and come straight down and just blast all of those aphids off. Next setting, mist. The mist setting is often underused because you think about it, what actually is happening here? Just a tiny bit of water is coming out. Well, our favorite use case here is for when you're starting seeds. If you started seeds in a tray like this, this is our Epic 6L tray, but really any tray you start seeds in, ideally the seedling mixture is already a little bit moist and then you're going in and planting your seeds. But you still need to add a little extra moisture on top. And if you came in with, let's say, shower, it's just gonna be too much water, especially for sensitive seedlings, things like poppies or carrots that don't wanna be disturbed too much. And this is where mist comes into play. Assuming your mixture is already a little bit moist because you want it to accept the water and not pool, what you can do is just come about a foot off the top and just mist the top to slowly hydrate this and not disturb or displace any of the soil or the seeds. So as I do this, I'm just slowly soaking that water in and making sure that not only the soil settles, but the seedlings are in the right spot and they're not disturbed at all. And don't forget, it's a hot day. One of the best use cases for mist is on yourself. Next up, vertical. Vertical is, as the name implies, kind of the opposite of flat. It's just a vertical stream in a flat sort of cone shape. So the way I like to use this, you of course could use it the same way you use flat, but for me, like cleaning off a surface is really nice. If I come in on this shed, these nice long kind of cornered edges here that collect a lot of dust, I just come in, blast them off just like that. And then I'll actually switch back and forth between vertical and flat to clean off all these. And you can see the dirt just coming off. And honestly, sometimes that's all you gotta do. You just gotta, get a little cleanliness going in the garden. It's not all about productivity and watering. Sometimes just cleaning up a space looks really nice. Next up, center. Our next one up is center. And I have to say, this is probably the one people use the least because the spray pattern is kind of weird. It's like a bunch of small thin jets, but we figured out a way to use it that works really well, especially if you're trying to rehydrate old or dry or peaty soil. So what you typically do to hydrate a bed like this, which has just been reset, is you might use the shower and you might come in like this and that's totally fine. 
and most of the time it works pretty well. But sometimes you have soil mixes that are really dry. They're somewhat heavy in peat, which is hydrophobic when it's perfectly dry, meaning it wants to repel or resist water. Kind of weird, but that's actually the truth about peat. So when you switch over to center, what it does is it penetrates through the soil because it's like a bunch of little mini jets. And what it does is it gets down in there and helps the absorption happen a lot quicker than comparing it to something like shower, which might sort of pool and slowly seep. So if you're trying to rehydrate, we really recommend coming in with center, getting relatively low. You can even hear the difference there. It's just kind of blasting itself into the soil. And it's been really effective for us to rehydrate old dry soil. Next up, full. Next up is full, which is basically just an ungated, huge, powerful spray of water, which you can use to clean off surfaces or cracks or something like that. But for us, whether you have like a water bottle or a spray bottle, or maybe an OYA, which is a sub-irrigated way of watering, it's probably the fastest way to get a ton of water into a small hole. So this is how we would fill up something like this, and then you could put in neem oil or whatever preparation you want. Other than that, have fun with it. You can water at a distance, all sorts of fun things you can do with full. Last up, jet. Our last setting is jet, which is really just a focused version of full. I really like this because my chicken coop tends to get really dusty. These little epic hens kick up dust all over the place. And since I have a gray coop, it kind of looks a little sloppy sometimes. So what I'd like to do is I come in and I can just do a targeted spray, but a nice targeted spray on the roof, clean it off, and then come in on all these lines and just really quickly give them a cleansing spray. So using it for the sidings of structures, you can use it for the cracks between concrete. Sometimes Jet's even powerful enough to be able to blast out any weeds, although you might need a power washer for something like that. But that's Jet, have fun with it, clean off your coop, clean off your surfaces. So there are a million and one creative ways to use one of these hose nozzles. I always used to wonder as a kid, how could you possibly have a use case for all these different settings? And turns out you most certainly can. So if we missed something, let us know down in the comments. But until next time, good luck in the garden and keep on growing.